Today I'm sharing which technical skills big tech companies like Google, Amazon or Microsoft are looking in you in whiteboard coding interviews. The more people are supposed to work together, the more complex it gets to keep everyone productive and happy. And that's exactly why big tech companies look for candidates with a very strong technical foundation. It indicates that you can be moved on to a new project and quickly adapt to the new tech stack and start to contribute to the project success fast, no matter what the actual underlying problem is. Knowing what's expected of you helps a lot preparing for those interviews and show off the skills you have. Let's get going. Welcome everyone, I'm Fabian the Big Tech Coach and on this channel I make technology, career and success simple. If you are preparing for your coding interview and you're struggling with it, or you're even too intimidated to get started, just subscribe to my channel and get ready with me. Different companies put the emphasis on different skills and characteristics in their candidates. However, on a high level, it's more or less the same. actually know the language you claim to know with the proficiency you claim to have in it. If you say, oh, I know C++, but you can't write a proper for loop on a whiteboard, that's a giant red flag. Do you properly analyze the problem at hand and devise a conceptually correct solution? Quite often candidates propose some solution that is conceptually wrong and wouldn't work even if implemented properly. As expected, that's also a red flag. Do you actually use appropriate algorithms and data structures in your solution? Tank companies really want to make sure you know the basics and you're capable of applying them to solve complex problems. Can you actually write the code to implement those things like data structures and algorithms? And what level of quality does your code have? Is it reasonably structured? Do variables have reasonable names? and how many bugs are actually in the code you write on a whiteboard. Candidates often propose a reasonable solution, but actually can't implement it. Companies want to see that you not just propose the correct solution, but you are actually able to implement it. Can you analyze the complexity of your code? Do you have reasonable intuition? or knowledge about how close your code comes to optimality. If the first draft is suboptimal, can you fix it or propose how to do so? How well do you perform compared to other candidates? There's extensions of the problem only the best candidates think of. Something like, how does the solution perform for giant data sets? To wrap this up, I know there's plenty of discussion about coding interviews and if they are actually an efficient tool to select the most capable engineers. What's your opinion? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support me, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. To learn more about coding interview prep, I also recommend to watch one of the displayed videos.